guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to learn how to make a maze game with levels. At the end of this video, you are going to be able to make a game just like this one. The game can switch levels, okay? Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is, go to the level sprites, okay? You need to have a level for this game. As you can see in the costume tab, I have three levels. Level 1, level 2, level 3, and the end. Uh, so this costume is going to appear at the end of this game, okay? Go to the code tab again and add a when green flag is click it block. After that, add a broadcast block. It will broadcast start level. And then make a new variable and it's called levels. So it will set levels to 1. Okay? Now go to events and when I receive start level and then add an if then block. So if the lap the level is equal to 1. It will switch costume to level 1. Duplicate this code, put it under here. If levels equals 2, it will switch costume to level 2. Duplicate this code once again, put it under here. If levels equals 3, it will switch costume to level 3, like that. After making the levels, go to the cat sprite, okay? To start, go to events and add when I receive start level block. When I receive start level, go to motion and add a set rotation style to left right block, okay? And then add a show block. After that, Go to variables and add a new variable. It's called controls. It will set controls to on. After that, add an if then block. So if levels equals one, if levels equals one, it will go to x negative 183 and y negative 130 it will also point in direction 90 and then at a set size block it will set size into 80 it will also start sound pop Okay, and then add a forever block under here, and then add an if then block. So if controls is on, and then add another if then block. So if uh key up arrow is pressed it will change y by 5 duplicate this code if down arrow is pressed it will change y by negative 5 so if we're pressing the up arrow it will change y by 5 if the number is positive then it will move up if uh, down arrow key is pressed it will change y by negative 5 if the number is negative then it will move down like that now duplicate this code again if right arrow key is pressed it will change x 
by 5. And if key left arrow is pressed, it will change x by negative 5. Okay. It will also, if right arrow key is pressed, it will point in direction 90. If left arrow is pressed, then it will point in direction negative 90, which is left. Put it here. Let's test it. Click on the green flag. It will play sound pop. What if uh, the cat is touching the levels? Exactly, it can move through the level. So how do we prevent this? To prevent that, stop the program first and then go to controls and add an if then block. Put it here first, okay? So if touching level, it will change y by negative 5. Duplicate this code. If touching levels, it will change y by 5 and put it here. So, how does this code work? If we press up arrow, it will change y by 5. So, it will add plus 5 uh, to the y position, which makes it moving up, okay? But if it's touching the level, it will change y by negative 5. So, after it adds 5 to the y position, it will decrease the y position by negative 5. So, 5 plus negative 5, 0, which adds no movement if it's touching the level. It works the same for the uh, right arrow and the left arrow. So just add a if then block. So if touching levels, if it's touching levels, it will change x by negative 5. Duplicate this code and put it here. When left arrow is pressed and if touching the levels, it will change x by 5, positive 5. Let's test it. Click on a green flag and the cat can no longer move through the walls in the maze. See? Perfect. Now, what happens if the cat is touching the finish point? Exactly, nothing happens. So, go to the finish point, just stop the program first and then Add a uh, one receive start level block. So when it is receives start level, it will show. Before that, it will go to back layer, and then go to controls and add an if then block. So if levels equals one, if levels equals one. It will go to x177 and y125. Oh yeah, don't forget to add a set size block. It will set size to 80. Like that, let's test it. Click on a green flag and it works. The finish point is at the position. What happens if the cat is touching the finish point? So, go back to the cat. So, add in forever block. In the forever block, add another if then block. So if touching the finish point, it will set controls to off. Let me just stop the program first. After that, it will change levels by one. Also, and then it will broadcast start level again like that okay and then go to the cat drag the forever block out of the code and add duplicate this code put it under here if levels equals 2 it will start sound pop but the position is going to be different the position is going to be the same for the x but the y is going to be, going to be different it is going to be 131 okay and then uh, if levels if levels equals 3, it will go to x56 and y negative 72, like that. And then you can just put the forever block under here. 
hold up yep over here now go back to the finish point if levels equals 2 it will go to x 180 and y negative 131 okay put it here duplicate this code once again if levels equals 3 it will go to negative 174 and y 110 Oops, sorry. 110. Positive 110, okay. And then, uh, let's test it. Let me just hide the cats, uh, the variables first. Click on the green flag again. Let's test it. Okay, the cat is moving smoothly. Every time we're pressing right arrow, it will move right. Every time we're pressing left arrow, it will change its direction. As you can see, when it touches the finish point, it will switch into the next level. Let's go to the finish point. Let's try solving this maze. Okay, what happens when the level is 3? As you can see, the cat cannot move because it is as big as the level. So, to prevent that, uh, if, level, if, if level equals 3, it will set size into, let's say, 50. Okay. Let's test that again. Okay, that fits. Let's move the cat. Mm -hmm. So, what happens if the cat is touching the finish point at level 3? Nothing happens. So, just drag the forever block out of here. And then duplicate this code. So if levels equals four, it will just delete all these blocks. It will go to events and it will broadcast new message. It's called end. Okay. Uh, and then it will hide. After that, it will play some tada until done, and then it will stop all. Like that so what happens if the levels receives the message end so drag out a one I receive and block and then it will switch costume to end for the finish point when I receive end it will hide okay like that okay let's test it full screen Let's beat level 1 first. Okay, it switch levels into level 2. This level is the hardest of the game, okay? As you can see, there's a lot of traps. It is not really hard actually. I just make it simple for the tutorial. So this is for the testing so when it's level 3 and the cat is touching the finish point it will it, the cat will hide also the finish point will hide and then it will play some tada and the uh, level sprite will switch costume into the end which says yay you completed the, le the game okay i guess that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to check out the game the link is in the description the description of this video if you want to remix it it is allowed okay